ready, step. Okay, you may want to cover the ears now.
Today we come to celebrate Richard's birth and eternal life in paradise, where there's no more sickness, pain, or sorrow, just divine happiness and joy. We come also together in thanksgiving to God for having given Richard to us in this life for over 57 years. Our hearts are heavy now as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now before we get started, I'm going to read you a little poem. I want you to assume that Richard is telling you exactly where he is, the same place that we one day will be together as one big happy family. Oh, yeah. If you can see where I am now, it is beauty to behold. There are gates of pearl and emeralds too and streets that are made of gold. The Father sits upon the throne, Son Jesus by his side. I'll praise his name forevermore, it was for me he died. There is no sorrow, pain, or tears. The heaven shines so bright. There's no darkness in this place, for Jesus is the light. If you could see where I am now, you'd want to come here too. So trust in Jesus, accept his grace, and he will see you through. Our brother Richard has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope and eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray the Lord also for ourselves. May we who more be united one day with our brothers. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he is our life appears in glory. Our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also wait a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own few days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And so may the greater sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother Richard may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory. For you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and in your light will see light, and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 Because God has chosen to call our brother Richard from this life to himself, we commit his body to earth. For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change the mortal minds to like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. For our brother Richard, let us pray to the Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Lord, Lord and Mary, and their distress. Draw near those who mourn for Richard and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. You went to the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. You raise the dead to life, give to our brother eternal life. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. Our brother was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. Comfort us in our sorrow to death of Richard. Let our faith be our consolation, eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. And let us pray. Father, your Son lived in our world, a world full of unrest and uncertainty. He did not hesitate to undergo the agony of the cross, so that he might share with us the pain and anguish of death. But you raised him to life again and crowned him with glory. God of love, stand by us in our hour of need. Look what kindness on our brother Richard, whose earthly life has ended. Do not let it be parted from you, but through your glorious power, bring him to your kingdom of joy and peace. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now with long for the coming God's kingdom, let us all pray the prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death. Through his wretched tomb, you hallowed the grace of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayer for those who have died in Christ. And our prayers with him in the hope of rising again. Since they were truly in on earth, let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And please bow your head and let us ask for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You're attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to your need. Strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest ran up to him, O Lord. And let the light shine, shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And may his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Now before I give the final blessing, Prayer of blessing. I'm going to go ahead and read your poem, and it is called, What is a Veteran? A veteran is a person who fell in love with their country, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health. A veteran is a person who is willing to lay down their life for the Statue of Liberty, so that her poor, her huddled masses, her homeless, her tempted thoughts may be free and may enjoy life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. A veteran is a person who does what he must, in spite of personal consequences, in spite of obstacles and dangers and pressures, for that is the basis of all human morality. A veteran is one who gets a lump in his throat when he sees our beloved flag, one who will fight to protect our beautiful flag from those who dare to dishonor it. A veteran is one who pays their taxes willingly, serves their country honorably, and cherishes their freedom passionately. A veteran is one well deserving of our appreciation, our love, and our prayers 365 days a year. And may the peace of God, which be all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge of the love of God and of the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may the Almighty and mercy God bless you, protect you. May he heal all of you, both physically and spiritually. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Now, I usually have, I'm sorry, but I have a habit of singing out in the cemetery, so I'm going to go ahead and, and do it. And if you know the song, please feel free to join in with me. <clears throat> I come to the garden alone, while the dude is still on the roses. And a voice I hear calling on my ear, the Son of God discloses. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. He speaks, and the sound of his voice is so sweet, the birds hush their singing. And a melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. None other has ever known. Okay. We can imagine that Richard had gone to the gates of heaven and Jesus was there to meet him. Jesus kept the hold of his hand as he walking down the golden streets of heaven. And where do you think Jesus is taking Richard right now? Take him to that large banquet hall where there's lots of fine food and well-aged wine. And in that hall are all the loved ones and friends who have gone before us. And we know that Richard will be there waiting for us too, but we also will enter into that hall to enjoy that life, happiness, and peace forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen.
wife present this crucifix to, to the family. Know that any time that you need anything now, Richard is now face to face with God. And any time that you need anything, Richard can now help you out. But I need to warn you about one thing. If you don't get what you want, please don't blame <laughs> it on Richard, okay? Don't it on the because he has the last word. But it does give you a chance to talk to him like you normally always used to do because you know that he remains right here in your heart until the day comes when the, all of us will be together as one big happy family. May the peace of Christ be with all of you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. You would Thank you.